so this is the requested tutorial at first guys just watch hold the video and download the file which i have uploaded to my google drive hey what is up guys it's cool freak here and in this tutorial i will show you how to make a windows 10 bootable pen drive via win to flash so let's get started <laughs> So let's start with our first software that is window flash i will provide the link of this in the description down below so what you need to do is just go to the exe and hit double click of it so it will open for you guys so after that so go next and as you can see here the things uh, you choose the second one because that is the iso version so you will be seeing this the two kind of thing browse for your ISO part and select that and open it so after opening that you will see just nothing just select the USB drive which you want to install and remember that guys it should be minimum of 8 GB because the file is of 4.5 GB so after hitting next just wait you need to wait So it kind of takes a while uh, but it done so close the app and as you can see here the window is bootable in the pen drive so it's ready to be flashed now you have to remove your pen drive uh, safely remove it and after that again insert it uh, for check that the window has been installed in that so switch off your computer right now so as you can see here guys uh, now you can just go to the boot menu uh, by clicking some f8 or f9 keys according to your motherboard chipset whatever it is uh, mine is lenovo laptop so uh, there is one direct recovery button will be there so by tapping there we can go to the boot menu and select the pen drive so after selecting the pen drive you will be just uh, seeing this kind of uh, in my laptop you will be seeing this uh, usb hdd that is hp mine is hp1 so i will select that and hit enter So as you can see uh, it's in two languages select the language and keep the default settings and go to the install now button so the setup is starting so please wait for that so as you can see here guys uh, there are bunch of options right here do not mess up with it i will let you know if you are having any kind of ram that is of 2 gb so i will recommend you to guys install the x86 version that is 32 bit version and the remaining three at the bottom you will be seeing the windows 10 pro vl that is x64 that is 64 bit version it comes in three version mine is the middle one that is windows 10 pro vl so after selecting this uh, hit next so you will be showing up with some kind of agreement setting so accept it and hit next so after uh, installation you can upgrade your window but not now mine is this one and maybe your part will be the different one so as you can see the primary version that is the window where the installation will be done and the windows will be installed i will recommend you to format so before that guys uh, you should have the backups that is mandatory so after that hit uh, next i will not do that because i will uh, be in some kind of problems so 
i have already have one working window so this is the tutorial so that's why till this one i will show you and after hitting next just grab some popcorn and just sit alone it will do the work so after some time it will be guiding through you the installation process of like customizing your setup everything in else so after that so here is the major part guys you need to update the window or activate the window so for that the file which i have provided download that and install and extract it after extracting you will be seeing the one application over here so in that application just uh, what you need to do is that run as administrator after running as ad administrator you will be finding some kind of uh, application is running so in my case uh, i have did it previously it worked for me but now it's been a year so it will not work on my pc right now uh, it's need a fresh pc for activating the windows so what you need to do is install the program first then run the admin the program as administrator click on the clean activation history select your window uh, that is window 10 so after that click on the installation mac key click on the then click on installation retail key so after that uh, you will be clicking on the get digital rights activation then in the bottom click on the check activation so the setup will look like kind of this so check your windows permanently activated or not for that you need to do reboot so after reboot go to the setting of your computer and check for the windows update so then that's it uh, that is for the thing thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one later